get a negative, what do you call it? A negative length. There is no way. Yes, sir. There is no way you can get a negative length. Okay. So let's proceed. To, okay, yeah. Let's use impost method, okay? So Mpo decided that we can use... Yeah, it. I I it. Yeah. Doesn't work, ne? No. Yeah. It doesn't work. Why Why is it not working? Do you understand why? No, no sir. sir. So, uh, there's a difference between a area and a line. Oh. Hmm. Area and a line, there's a difference between the two. So they don't want an area, they want a line. So that's why you can't get it. Because area is a different story. You see? Okay, so let's proceed with this one. And then after this one, uh, after this one, let me gather some more. I need to put some more questions there. So... Yes, we need to do another one another one today we are working hey guys i wish we could do this the whole day hey but now load shading you see it's a problem yes, sir. Ah, load shading is a problem man if you you guys were not uh -huh. having load shading we're gonna you know, we're gonna proceed with this yes, sir. yeah but it's fine Okay, yeah, so I'm adding questions, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna do more, more questions. Okay, we continue the recording. Okay, so we're gonna do question 10. It says the two circles in the diagram have a common tangent, a common tangent, X, R, Y. X, R, Y, it's a common tangent. So they've got a common tangent, all of them. Common tangent. So guys, we're going to have a session in agraria physics after, um, after half past six. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, for paper one. Okay. Yeah, please be available. And then tomorrow, hopefully, you guys are gonna be available. Because Monday it's another day. -ish. Okay, so they say at R. Yeah, okay, it's yeah. fine. Then W is any point on the sec small cycle. W. It's any where is W? W is any in a small cycle. Do you see the small cycle? Guys, I it's nice to write these things as as you, like you read it step by step. There is a small cycle inside there. I'll just write small. I'll just write small. Yeah. Then they say the straight line RWS. RW is RWS. Straight line. I'll say straight. Guys, you see well, how I'm solving these questions. I write everything that they are saying. The yes, straight yes, line meets the large circle at S. Okay, it's fine. They meet here at S. The chord STQ. S. What is S? STQ. STQ. It's a chord. Then you'll be able to answer these yes, things. Yes, you just do it like this. A chord. STQ is a tangent. To the small circle so this chord they are saying it's a tangent to the small circle what does that mean stq is a tangent to the small circle yes, sir. Yes, sir. remember what Mpo said a tangent it touches at one point what is that point what is the point the one that is touching a small circle it's point what T. T. Point T. You see? At one point. T. 
So this is a tangent. And then you know that a line that goes to that tangent, that's another story. Okay, we're gonna talk about that. Uh, small cycle. Where T is the point of contact. Okay, it's fine. Ah, you already ah Kabuchi T that is the answer. <laughs> <laughs> and then they say cut RTP is drawn. RTP RTP is drawn. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's a it's a it's a, it's a, it's a cut. It's another cut. RTP is another cut. It's fine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's another cut. And then they say let R4 equals to X. Where is R4? This R4 equals to X, and then R2 is equals to Y. It's fine. Let's go to the question now. We don't care. So, guys, I'm going to ask you. Uh, it's easy to, to answer these questions. They say let R4, angle R4 equals to X, and angle R2 is equals to Y. So, they say they want T3. Oh, they already told you. Ah, I'm right. No, I don't want you to, guys to do this. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I'm going to do this. Let me... How can I stop this? I want to take a picture of this and ask you questions. Ah, you see? Now? I wonder this thing of presenting the whole screen is a problem. Okay, let me do this. I'm not going to go to the next screen. I'm not going to go to the next screen. It's fine. It's fine. I'll find a way. To ask you guys questions. Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, ah, you see now. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But I'm raw, but it's fine. Okay, so 10.1.1. See that question? I need I need another I, I need another question there. Sorry. I I think I left a I think I left something there. Let me put I think I left one question. A continuation of this. Yes, I left this question. Let me put it there. I left one question. Definitely sure. Represent sure. So I left this one. This is the most important question. So it's a continuation of that one. It's fine. We're going to do this one after. After what? Copy paste it. Okay. So let's answer this one. So what is the... Angle T3. They are saying angle T3 is equal to X. Let's go to that. T3 is equal to X. Why? Do you see T3? They are saying it's equal to X. Why? T3 equals to X. Okay. Let's write it down. You go to T3. Angle T3. They are saying equals to x. Okay, so, so. let's go and check t3. t3 is equals to x. Why? Why are they saying t3 is equals to x? You see, it's very important to write everything down. Look at t3 and look at x. Why are they saying they are equal? Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. You understand why they are saying they are equal? R. So look it's at this. It's the ten chord theorem. Yeah. 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 Ten chord theorem. Ten. Tangent and chord. So look at this. Look what where 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 the the chord is. So you have got this thing. Let me draw it. The ten chord theorem. This is a tangent. Then it has got that. 
little triangle there. If you take it out, that's a 10 cot theorem. If you've got something like this, guys. Are you guys still there? Okay, so if you've got something like this, this is a tangent. So this is a quad. And then it tells you that this, if this is a tangent, Then it means this angle right here is equal to this angle there. Right? They, they do. I was not recording. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Ish, ish, ish. I saw now that it, it says 22. Mara, the recording is still on 11. Ah, you see now. I paused the recording because of the because of the network, so it's fine. It's fine. So yes. Um so these are the answers, and then let's go to the next one. 10.2. They say prove that RT you see now proving A it's a, it's a mission. They wanted to prove that it's an it's an <laughs> oh, yeah, it's another story. They wanted to prove that RT is equals to WR times uh, RP over RS. That's when it, it starts to get complicated. Mm. So we can prove it, it's fine. So let's go and look for similarities. So to prove, guys, you need to check the similarities. Do you see that R, R is common everywhere? Everywhere, like, yeah, yeah. it has got R. So let's go and look at this. Um, let me take this down here. So I'm gonna remove everything. Let me remove everything. Uh, okay. I want to remove everything so that we can work with this. So they want you to prove. I'm gonna write it on the side. So they wanted to prove that R R T equals to R W times R P divided by R S. Okay. So look at let's check. Do you agree that if we can do this, we can say RT times RS is equals to RW times RP. Okay, then let's look at R, where the R is common. So this is the common point. So R is the common point there. Then they say R yes, from yes, R to T. So let's go from R to T. Okay, and then from R to S, from R to S, okay, so what is R from R to S, R to S is what, it's your, it's your, your code, right, from R to S, so since we know that R to S is equal to that part, We know that R to S is equal to uh, SP. Yes, yes, is it that one? No. Uh -uh, it's not that one. It's not that one. R to S is equal to what? R to S. 
Isn't it supposed to be two times? Two what? The S to W, the one we were talking for. Okay. Look at this. Um, this is proving, guys. Proving. Yes, yes, you need to prove. It's proving. Like you see, R. We want R S. R S. R to S is twice. Yes, yes, R W. R W. Remember, yes, yes. this is a chord. Uh, so this side and this side they are equal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So R W is equal to what? R S and R W they are equal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. R W and R S they are equal. They are the same, ne? Sure. So let's write sure. that down. Sure. So you, you 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 know why I went to RS because it tells you that you should go to RS. And then it tells you that you should go to RW again. I don't know if you get my point. You go to RS. That is unknown. You go to RW. Yeah. RW and RS. What is the relationship between RW and RS? You see, you take what they want. RS and RW. You go to that. RW and rs the other one is twice the other yes, sir. Yes, sir. so it's more like you have got a small cycle and a bigger cycle when you do similarities guys when you do similarities you take the smaller ones you put them you say small over big it's a ratio basically it's a ratio so here you're gonna say RW, which is the smaller one, RW over a bigger one, which is RS, a bigger one. RS is the bigger one. And then equals to what is RP? What is RP? So you do the ratio, guys. You say smaller, that's the bigger. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I see. I see. No, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. So, RP. What is RP? RP. RP. Then they, they say it's another, another chord. But then the, but big, then the big circle. Hmm. But it's the same as what? Uh, R. P is the same as look at this. Isn't it the same as R S? Look at this. So you said you said this this one is equal to this one. RP is the bigger one. The bigger the bigger one is from here to here. It's RP. And then what is the smaller one? The smaller one is R T. R T. Yes. Yes. So, so, it's so it's going, going to be RT over RP. Mm. RT over RP. So it's the smaller yes, and the yes, bigger. Sir. It's a ratio. Yeah. You use yeah. the common one. You, what yes, is, yes, you, you saw what I did. I started with the common. What is the common one? It's R. Yeah. Yeah. I started with R. R, R and then yes, I went to RW. RW is this one. And then they said RS. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So RS is this one. Smaller from this point to this point and from this point to this point. And then yes, sir. Yes, sir. you divide the ratio. Then it's up to you. Even if you start with bigger, let me show you. If you decided to start with bigger, bigger length or longer length, divide by Shorter length is the same answer. You'll get the same answer. You'll get the same answer. It's up to you. But it's a ratio. Yes, sir. It's a ratio. You take the bigger one. It's like you've got two yes, sir. Yes, sir. similar yes, sir. triangles. Two similar triangles. This one is equal to this one. You divide them. You see? Bigger over smaller. It's a ratio. Do, do you understand it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
then it's from r r is the common one you see if you check r r r, yes, sir. r yes, sir. is the common so that's how you solve this question and then from r to t okay let's start let's start with what they what they gave us they gave us rp from r to p remember this is a diameter so we are saying this one is equal to this one this yeah. one is equal to yeah. this one this one is equal to this one this one it's a diameter it's a half half of that it's a uh, circle so there are similarities there so there's r to p and also r to t you see then then from here you're gonna make rt the subject of the formula rt is equal to rw times rp over rs Ne? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's do another one. Identify the resin. I identify with resins another two angles equals to S. Equals to S1 and uh, I'm saying S1. Y. y. Yeah, equals to Y. Which is, I, sh I don't like to highlight with this one. Let me get uh, this color. Sure. So we want the two angles, the other two angles. So let's go and check. What are the other two angles that are equal to Y? What are the other two angles? So, so Y, do you agree? If I do this, guys, will I be wrong? I'm just asking. That's a quick question. Hmm? In order to do that, when do you be supposed to prove that SP is parallel to RQ or is it parallel by nature? Because they're in a cyclic quad. You need to prove that they are equal. You need to know that they are parallel. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, so and then if I do this, so I want you guys to give me the other two. You can give me any other two because this can go further. Well, if I do this, two P two, will I be wrong if I do this? If I say y is equals to p1, will I be wrong? Mm. Mm. Mm? No, sir. No, sir. You know why? Because you have got a circle with this. No, sir. No, sir. You've got a circle with this. Thank you. So is this line equals to that line? It's a quadrilateral, guys, outside. So there's there's yes, a lot sir. of methods that yes, you sir. can use. Yeah. yeah. So these two lines are equal. So P, you can say angle P1 is equal to Y. And then what is the reason there? Alternating angles. alternating angles. Yeah, alternating angles because RQ, RQ and SP, they are equal. Is there the, the, the sides of, opposite sure. sides of a quadrilateral, opposite side of a cyclic, yes, it's inside a circle, yes, so you can say a cyclic quad. Opposite sides of a cyclic quad are equal. 
do you get my point? Then that's an alternating angle. So you can give various reasons here, guys. So, and then another one. Since you're saying, uh, what is the other one? Give me the last one. Uh, uh, T3. T3. T3, why? Ah, guys, guys, you don't see any radi. Emma, wait. You don't see any radi. Mpo, mpo, Asa, I was Asa, going to go, with, going the to go that, with the fact that... Mpo, give me the answer. Mas. You don't see any radi. What is the center? Is that the didn't tell me there is a center? Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> but so that's you don't a, have. So you, you don't, don't have. Did they give no. us a center? You don't have uh -huh. a center. That's why Mpo said Q two. I was like, okay, Q two, because Mpo thought this is a center. T is the center. No. <laughs> yeah. You see, they didn't yeah. specify. Yeah, it was gonna be a radi if if T two was the center, ne? But okay. <laughs> Yes, sir. Ah, Mara, yes, guys, you don't see it. Yes, sir. Where is the yes, court? Sir. Where is the court? Agri, Agri, remember. Uh, remember uh, we did the, reason was the reason why I was saying T3, I was going to say, was going to say because at first, because we, proved at first that, uh, we proved that uh, WT is parallel to S. I can't remember what's that. I can't remember what's that. That's an SP. That's an SP. SP yeah. and, now we've just, and now we've just. Oh, yeah. You can do that. So, okay, they are parallel. I agree. And then T2. T2 is close to S1. I agree with that one. And then why are you saying T3 is equals to? So uh, if you are saying, remember alternating angles, it means that these two sides are parallel. These two. Gabi. Gabi, Mr. Mr. Yeah, you cannot use that one. Say your cutty. Say your cutty. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So I'm saying alternating angle will be only if those two lines were parallel to each other like wt and rq if they were parallel that's an alternating angle but if they are not parallel then it's a problem yes sir yes sir yes sir can you yes, hear sir? me sir? can you hear yeah, me, I can sir? Hear you. yes sir yes sir Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let's get the next one. Give me the other one. Check nicely. Check nicely there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So okay, let's write all the angles that are equals to R2. I think you can you can get it now. Let's write all the angles that are equals to R2. So this one we did find it, it's Y. Then we did find T, it's Y. Then we did find that uh where is the other one? Mm. The alternating angle, which one? Which one is the alternating angle? That one was P1. P1. It's Y. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then, yeah, Q2 is also, is also Y. Because this one and this one, they are equal. So it's an alternating angle like this. Mm 
Oh, oh ya. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> say also t- say also t- 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 is why. Now you can yeah. see yeah. why I saying is why. Say? Why say? Saying it's why? It's, it's F in F fun. in fun. Hmm? F in fun. F in fun. Because S because S P is parallel to T W T W must. Yeah, if it's parallel, if S P is parallel to T W, then it means the angle that is inside T two, which is T two. Is equals to S one. And then when you are saying T, if T three is equal to T three, corresponding. Corresponding. Yes, the F. Yes, the F. Let me present. I think it lost. Ah, you see now. Yes, sir. That was Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but we're almost done. It's fine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, Mpoy, you're saying it's corresponding. Yes, sir. Yes, how, sir. How so? Guide me. Let me remove everything that I just wrote there. Corresponding. Corresponding means the other. So, you are saying. TW is equal to SP, ne? Yes, the So this angle and this angle there. So P1. So P1. is going to equal to T3 because of corresponding. Remember when you use fan. Oh yeah, yeah. F. There's F there. There's F. Yeah. So let's yes. look for F. Yes. Yes. Ah. Yes. You see? you see? So F will be made by this. So if you are saying this and this, they are equal. They are in the same line somewhere, somehow. There is your F. Fun. What color can I use? Ah, yeah, Mpo, you still remember these things? Hey, Kavi? There is your F. Uh, where is that F? So this yes, one sir. will yes, be close to that one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, T- uh, T- T- so it's corresponding angles. Okay. And we did say that. <laughs> remember, we did say that T three is equals to equals <laughs> to Y. But <laughs> but now the problem was the reasoning. Yes, sir. Mm. And then also look at this. Here's another reason. From the proving, we said this is equal to that. Sure. We said sure. PT is equal to RT. Is it correct to say that? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Okay. Sharp. So we know the answers. Why? How many? How many more minutes do we have? Eleven. Eleven. Okay. No, it's fine. And they want us to prove that Q three is equal to W two. W two. So we've got a lot, a lot of angles that are equals to angle Y. This one you said is corresponding. So we, have, we found three of them. And then the other one we said is alternating. So we've got a lot corresponding. Yeah, we did mention them. It's fine. So they want us to prove that Q3 is equals to W2. So let's go and check. Q3 is equal to W2. Q3. Let's go to, to Q3. Q3. Q3 is equal to W2. It's equal to that one. 
so they want us to pull that so you're gonna check or where is the where is w2 and where is q3 so you see they are in a different they are in different uh, cycles so they are in different cycles right so they are in different cycles so let's find everything that is around q3 and then also find everything that is around w2 then you will be able to find the answers so what is what is w2 w2 is equals to what Q three is equal to S. Q three because of because of extra angles of a cyclic part. Q three is equal to what? W two is equal to S because because W T is parallel to B. Is equal is equal to S. Okay, so you are saying Q three. Wait, let's start with Q three. Q three. You said angle Q three is equal to what? S. Angle S. Angle S. Angle S. So, because of exterior angles of a cyclic Exterior angles. Exterior angles of a cyclic quad. Kavi, do you understand that? Kabi, do you understand what I'm saying? And then, and then. Yes, sir. Yes, you know sir. what? Let me show you. Remember, S, the whole of S is equals to the whole of Q1 and Q2. Q3. Q3. So the opposite yes, angles, they add up to what? They add up to 180. Now, cutting. Now, cutting. Yes, sir. Yes, they sir. add up to 180, ne? Then this will be the exterior angle of of Q Q one and two, which is the same as. Look at this. This is the these are the interior angles. The interior angles. You understand why she's saying it's exterior because this yes, Q one yes, plus Q two plus Q three. They add up to. 180. They add up to 180. So that's why she's saying it's the angle of a cyclic quad. Q3 is the exterior angle of a cyclic quad. Because if you check, let's prove that. And then, and then. I'm going to this one. Why enjoy? I see. She enjoys this one. Yes, sir. Yes. Mm. 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 can continue. This one, I'm gonna give it to you. And then, and then, as, as then, then W W two is equal to S because of because of F. It's close to F. So, and, then so, and then therefore Q3 is equal to W2. W2. Yeah. So you give reasons, ne? You gave you gave me reasons. So you said Q3 sure. is equal to yes, S because of the exterior angles of a certain quad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Yeah, no. This is complete. Then you can say therefore. You can conclude therefore. Ooh, okay. Now, uh, I can't start another question. Let me see. Do we have another question that we can do quickly? Yes, sir. How many more minutes do we have? Five. 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 So can we do 10.5 in five minutes?
Okay. So let's check RTS. So where is RTS? R T S. So let's go. Guys, please solve these questions the way we are doing them now, the way we are discussing them now. So we go to RTS. R T S. R S. R T S. Then they said R T S. Then it goes back. So that's a that's a that's a that's a triangle on its own. The triangle. Then we go to another one. You see, I'm highlighting. I'm gonna use a different highlight now. I'm gonna use green. Then R Q P R R Q R Q P. So you've got two of them. So they want you to prove that these two are equal. Sure. Sure. They are similar. They want you to prove that they are similar. So, in order for you to prove that they are similar, you need to consider their angles. They are similar angles. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. S2. S2. Hmm? Yes, sir. S2. Yes, sir. S2. Okay. S2 is equal, S2 is equal to, P2. to P2. Is equal to P2. And then you have to give the reason there. P2. You have to, and give, then, you and have then. to give a reason. So the reason will be RQ. Oh, angles, oh, angles in the same segment. Yeah, RQ. The chord is RQ. You see? RQ. They share the same, same segment. Yeah? Ah, guys, guys, you see, sure. you see how sure. easy these things are when we highlight them. Asha, Asha. Yeah, can you guys hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. so let's write down. So you said, uh, S two. Same segment. Okay, let's write it down. Same segment. S2 is equals to P2. S2 is equals to P2. Same segment. Angles in the same segment. So you check. So they want you to show that everything there, there is equal. So like R is equals to R. T is equals to Q. So that's how you, you, you do this thing. You see? So this is what they want, guys. Let me teach you this. I don't know if you are familiar with this, but I'll teach you. So this question, they want you to prove that R is equals to R is a common. R is common. And then they also want you to prove that T is equals to Q. Yes, the middle yes, one is equal to the middle one in the other one. S is equal to P in the other one. Do you guys understand what I'm trying to say? So how what is what is yes, what is the relationship between P and S? You gave me the answer. We are done with P and S. So what is the relationship between R, R and R? Any R, it doesn't matter what R. But you need to get something with R. Do you get my point? You need to get something with R. So let's check the relationship relationship between the R's, whether it's R1 and R2, R3 and R2, R1 and R3. So we check the relationship between the R's. So let's go and, and check the relationship. Let's go to R. What is the relationship between the R's of that the triangles? Those two triangles. It's R what and R what? So, if you can check, R2 and R3, they are equal. So, we did prove that R2 and R3, they are equal. We did prove that R2 and R3, they are equal. So, we're not going to write anything. We're going to say proven. 
R2 is equals to R3. It's already proven. We already prove, proved that these two are equal. It's already proven. And then we're going to check what is the relationship between T, T and Q. So you check the relationship between T and Q. So what is the relationship between T and Q? So let's check. T and Q. So the relationship between T and Q So T and Q. So T is this one, then Q is that one. So T and Q. So T and Q, the relationship between them is that they are both the third angles of a triangle. They are both the third angles of a triangle. They are common. Like, if you can check, T and Q we are, is the only angle that we are left with that we didn't solve. So we did solve this one, and then we did solve this one. Right? So let me highlight this. Let me show you. So remember, we, we did agree that R and R, they are equal. So these two are equal. Then I'm highlighting the common ones. So we said this one and that one, they are equal. So in both triangles, both triangles, we are left with what? We are left with Q and T. So do you see that these are the third angles that are left in a triangle, in both triangles? So they are equal because they are the only ones that are left. So you're going to say angle T, so because it's a triangle, because it's a triangle, we're going to write it as RTS is equals to RQ, Q, QP. These are the only the third angles that are left in the triangle. Third angles in a triangle. These are the third angles in a triangle that are left. Okay. And that will be the last question that we're doing.